love you Now your man don't come Oh, see, see, mama Why did you lie to me? Oh, yeah, dear See, see, mama Why did you lie to me? You swore that you loved me my version of another version of CC Rider. I did a version in the key of C, Going to Louisiana by uh, Mans Lipscomb, and a version in uh, Drop D, I think. So, and here's the version in the all favorite blues key of E. So, on standard tuning, and if you're interested in the tablature, please do open the video description for a link to my website. All right, um, <clears throat> this is the classic by uh, Ma Rainey, of course, and by countless other artists uh, who covered it. And here we go. Very relaxed tempo and monotonic bass, country blues bass. So I'm playing it open and then I'm muted. So it's not, not like that, or certainly not like that. All right. Sliding to the fourth fret to get a partial D, uh, E chord, sorry. Back down to the second fret, you could say B7, and then a hammer on for the E chord. Hammer on third fret, sorry, third string first fret. And we let that train. And I have the capacity of playing. At uh, my choice to play with either flesh or when I tilt it slightly my tempo, I add some notes. So those notes, those bass notes where nothing much happens, I 
accents with that little sharper uh, sound. So the first two bars. into our A. I'm just fretting, I'm using two fingers to get an A7. So my pinky does some uh, so measure five. Notice that I use my picking fingers to keep those certain notes short. And a little fill there. And that bass note at the seventh uh, measure, that first one, that's really open. So. Uh, B7 chord at the 7th fret. So E position moved up. Notice that I'm using a lot of 6th notes and this makes uh, a blues softer, uh, more sophisticated, sweeter than Sophisticated, as I said. <laughs> Seventh, uh, sorry, ninth fret, fifth string, sliding into our A chord. Open. That's it for pretty much all the other verses, different lyrics of course, but the arrangement is basically the same. And I used the for all verses except the last one I think uh, I went a bit, well, I didn't do the uh, first position A7 but went uh, to the fifth fret and did the same thing because That's the same. And instead of I did or something like that. You can use that of course uh, if you want more variation. But sometimes it's good to have a little, a little let's say a little hook in a song that comes back again and again to uh, add some familiarity for the audience. All right then we have the first solo. So I'm sliding to the ninth fret and I use my third finger, you can use any finger of course. 
and that's the short. And then four, five, six, and go down. And then five, six, six. And the last beat of the 16th measure, you can either do a little slap or play the open uh, E string. And then the A, A7, sorry, A6 again. And you can do variations here as now. Whatever comes to your mind, but this is in the tap. So in measure uh, <clears throat> 19, I'm going down, and I'm sliding up to our B7, hit all the strings, and bend with the pinky the 10th fret on the first string. Tap a dance row and then to our A6. All right, then the second solo. Part 25, sorry, notice that on the third beat I'm keeping the sound short by muting it with my picking finger and then slide into the fourth fret third string. Sliding up to the 5th fret in bar 29. And this of course is our D7 position at the 9th fret, so it becomes an A. Sorry. So, 9, 7, 5, 4. Not, but a variation, B7. Partial A7, I'm just using my two fingers and bending both strings and hold them there as long as you like. Da, 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 da. As long as you start again on the beat, of course. So that's it, and the end tack is simply to go Alright, that was, I think, an easy version, but fun to play of CC Rider. Have fun!